Hierarchical cluster analysis in SPSS is one of the method that can be used to classify data into uh, groups or clusters. Data or observations within each cluster are similar and uh, each cluster is dissimilar from another cluster so the data in one cluster is dissimilar from another cluster the analysis can be used when there are several variables that are measured at a scale level whether it's interval or ratio and there are several cases in this data view in SPSS I had inserted data for 100 cases there are several different variables the first one is a nominal or dichotomous variable which is the gender the second one is a dichotomous nominal variable which is the marital status the third one is the education a uh, um, nominal uh, variables and profession is another nominal variables there are several variables that are measured at a scale level, such as the age, the salary, the debt, the family, members, years of working, and satisfaction. Age is measured in years, salary is measured in pounds, debt in pounds, family members are counted, years of experiences, and satisfaction is measured in a scale from 1 to 10 so satisfaction is a, an ordinal data so these five different variables are measured at a scale level but each uh, variable is measured at a different scale level to classify these data into groups or clusters um, hierarchical cluster analysis will be performed click on analyze scroll down to classify then select the hierarchical cluster option in this new window select the five scale variables the age the salary the debt the family number and years of employment move them to the variables uh, click on statistics click on agglomeration schedule and click on continue click on plots click on dendrogram and click on none click on continue for the method cluster method that will be used is the words methods and uh, the distance is measured through the squared Euclidean distance and for transform value standardize the value use the SID score to make all the um, scale variables measured at a Z score click on continue click on OK a table is generated here which is the agglomeration schedule table based on word linkage and the important part of the table is the coefficient and if we scroll down toward the end as we can see here these are the most important part of the table it shows that at the stage of 99 the coefficient was around 500 and that is reduced into uh, around um, five fold by stage 98 and then it is reduced by two fold at the stage of 97 and this is reduced by nearly um, half so from this table it is possible to say that these data can be clustered into four clusters or arranged or assigned the cases are assigned to four clusters 
the next diagram which is the dendrogram using word linkage is an important diagram as from this diagram it will be possible to determine the number of cluster as the hierarchical cluster method analysis the aim or the objective of performing it is to determine the number of cluster that a set of data can be classified into so in this dendrogram going to reduce the size of this uh, um, plot by double clicking on it and once you double click on it uh, um, right click on it and in the chart size and tick the maintain aspect ratio and tick resize and then change the height to 500 click on apply and the um, dendrogram is size of the dendrogram plot is uh, reduced and as shown here the size of the uh, diagram can be reduced as shown here uh, let's let's increase it a little bit shown here from the left hand side that there are four possible clusters one is here another one is here a third one here a small one and a fourth one is the final one so there are possible four cluster uh, that can be generated so the data can be classified into four clusters to assign each case in this data to the uh, clusters or one of these cluster click on the hierarchical cluster analysis again and on the save uh, option uh, since we determined that there are four clusters then type in the number of cluster fours and click on continue click on ok and the software will generate a new variable called cluster uh, four which has from one to four and this cluster shows that case number one is assigned into cluster one and case number five is assigned to cluster two and case number six is assigned to cluster three and case number seven is assigned to cluster four so this is the way to perform hierarchical cluster analysis in SPSS to determine the number of cluster um, or groups for a set of data.